We are now going to make a chocolate fudge cake utilizing. Are you going to say courtesy of? Yes, it's courtesy <laughs> of Nigella Lawson. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be using Harris Blend because, as we've stated before, it you can be a monkey and you can make <laughs> these cakes. So the first thing we had to do was wash our hands, which we did. Our hands are beautiful and clean because we don't want to contaminate. That's a shout out to Orly because she always likes her hands are clean. Gluten-free flour with any gluten that we might have had beforehand. We need to butter and line the bottom should of we, two should inch. Should we spray the bottom? Well, it's <laughs> Yeah, we should spray the we bottom. We could spray, okay. Okay, that's very beautiful. I'll do the other one. Try not to breathe a few. It says, in a large bowl, mix together the flour, sugars, cocoa, baking yeah, powder, cool. baking soda, and salt. So we use this for dry. Is that a cup? One quarter yeah, cup. Like best quality. Is that the best quality you could find? Best quality is cocoa powder. Quarter cup. That looks good. Light brown sugar. Here we go. Light brown sugar. Think that's okay. good? Bingo, that looks good to me. Okay, pour that in. That's beautiful. Oops. In the meantime, we'll clean this mess up. One teaspoon of baking soda. Beautiful. Yeah, that's hard to reach. <laughs> we use this bowl. Now, three eggs, we're going to take each one separately. And we look. And we're going to determine if they're kosher. Now we need to mix that with sour cream. Sour cream. So we need one tablespoon vanilla extract. Using a standing or a handheld electric mixture, beat together the melted butter and corn oil until just blended. So we need to find the mixer. <laughs> Your house. There is a, there was a mixer here. Let's see who can find it first. Okay, how about down here? Studio audience, we found it. Okay. <laughs> so now, now the question is, what do we mix it into? I think we need another bowl, right? <laughs> okay. Melt the chocolate in the microwave. Let it cool slightly. Okay. In another bowl, beat the butter. Another bowl. Beat. Can you, let's use this. Yeah. Beat the butter until it's soft and creamy. Oh, you par it. Right here. Voila! This is Paris Blend. Cut. 